Hello all, I am Dr. Anand Nayar, PhD in Computer Science. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned to all the technology videos on Linux administration, open source, Windows administration, embedded systems, Kali Linux, simulations, big data, machine learning, programming, deep learning, IoT, virtualization, unboxings and many more. If you want to know more about my, the details of my video, you can click on the playlist and you can find more details of the videos on which I make on my YouTube channel. If you want to know more about my research, you can go to Google Scholar and you can search my name Dr. Anand Nayar and you can find all my research papers over here. And similarly, you can even go to researchgate.net and you can find my detailed profile and even my level of research over here. And you can find all the coordinates of my current research scenarios on this website. And similarly, you can even go to google.com and you can search my name as Anand Nayar and you can find my website and every coordinate needs of my of my research everything over this search so i request you to subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned gyan with anandaya your ultimate resource for technology thank you hello researchers how are you i hope you are fine and doing well in this video i will be demonstrating how to install nopix 8.1 on oracle virtual box now before we dive in the installation part of nopix on oracle virtual box let us first of all understand what is nopix nopix is an operating system based on debian designed to be run directly from cd dvd or a usb pen drive one of the first of its kind for any operating system nopix was developed and named after linux consultant klaus nopper when starting a program, it is loaded from removable medium and decompressed into a RAM drive. The decompression is transparent and on the fly. Although Nopix is primarily designed to be used as live CD, it can also be installed on a hard disk like a typical operating system. Computers that support booting from USB devices can load Nopix from a live USB pen drive or even memory card. There are two main additions, the traditional compact disk which was about 700 megabytes edition and DVD which is about 4.7 gigabytes maxi edition. These are available both in two languages, English and German. Nopix mostly consists of free and open source software but also includes some proprietary software so long as it fulfills certain conditions. Nopix can be used to copy files easily from hard disk with inaccessible operating systems. To quickly and more safely use Linux software, the Linux CD can also be used instead of installing any other operating system. More than 1000 software packages are included on the CD and more than 2600 are included on the DVD. Up to 9 GB can be stored on the DVD in a compressed form. These packages include LXDE, a lightweight X11 desktop environment, or a KDE3, a more feature compatible desktop and which is default for 5.3.1 and earlier releases. M player with MP3 audio and Ock Vobis audio playback format, internet access software including the KPPP dialer and ISDN utilities, the Ice Weasel web browser, the iStuff email client, GIMP and image manipulation program, tools for data security and system repair, network analysis and administration tools, LibreOffice and terminal server, and many more. Now you can see I have opened the official website that is nopix.net and you can find more uh, 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 information regarding how to install, how to get aware and how to get nopix. So in order to get nopix you can just click over here and you can find that you can even buy a CD, DVD or you can even use BitTorrent to download from here. So you can even uh, see that it is about 4 gigabytes of size. Now let's proceed. So here is the ISO image which I have already downloaded from uh, the internet. So it is the version 8.1 and you can see that it is about 4.24 gigabytes of size. Now let us start with the installation part of Nopix on Oracle VirtualBox. So let's start. So here is the Oracle VirtualBox. So let us first of all click on new. And now first of all let's take the name as Nopix 8.1 2018. So Linux, so let's change it to Debian 32-bit. So it is requested that it should be changed to Debian 32-bit. So click on next. So here we allocate the RAM. So I allocate about four GB of RAM to this. So I create a new virtual hard disk now. So let us click on next, next, next. And I allocate at least 25 GB of hard disk space to this. So let's click on create. Now click on settings. Now click on advanced, first of all, 
let's enable it to bi-directional as the typical settings which I make in almost all my videos so click on system so first of all remove the floppy and I put the optical disk over here I click on processor so increase it to number 2 and enable PAE oblique NX I go to display so all the settings are okay so I click on storage now I click on empty so I browse for the DVD so here is Nopix 8.1 and I click on network so network is NAT it is okay so there is no need to change and serial ports everything it is okay so let's click on okay and let's fire the installation So here you can see that the Nopix has started so let's press enter. So by pressing enter it will start with a very beautiful uh, DOS based boot which is both graphics as well as simple. So first of all it will go into the live edition. What a beautiful Vimal voice. So it is starting up the initial boot app sequence. So here we have the important desktop. So you can see the KDE desktop over here and you can see Nopix 8.1. So let's click on install Nopix to this program. And now you can see this flash Nopix there over here. So let's go with the allow installation on fixed hard drive. So let's click on OK. So here is the hard drive. So let's click on this hard drive which is about 25 GB of size. So let's click on OK. So it is checking the drive. So now you can see, please select the installation method. So it is saying F32 with additional overlay, F32 with optional. So we go with the first option. So let's click on OK. So it requires about one MB of RAM. So everything it is OK. So let's press it with yes. So let's proceed with yes. So let's proceed with yes again. So here is the overlay size for this. So the overlay size is OK for us. So let's click on OK. So now it is creating the hard disk partition as well as a swap partition. And after that it will start writing the data. So it is creating the boot record. So writing of the data will not take much time. So almost we can say that we are finishing with the writing of the data. So you can see would you like to encrypt the overlay using AES-256 bits so we don't require for any encryption so click on no. So it is creating the overlay. So we are on the final stages of completion now. So it has finished and you can remove device from the drive. So let's click on OK and now Let's click over here, so click on logout and let's reboot the system. That's a beautiful voice. So let's press enter. So now you can see that the Nopix is already installed. So what we have to do, we have to just go to terminal. And now let's first of all type this command, who am I? So it is Nopix. So let's enter with root with the command that is sudo bash. Who am I? So now you can see that we have entered into root. So let's test the connectivity with the internet. So it is uh, fine and okay. Okay, 
So let's first of all update the system with the command apt-get update. So depending on the net connection, it will take some time. So almost 60% we are done. Let's wait for the rest of the packages to get complete. Okay. So it is done. So now what we have to do is to install the virtual box space command. So apt hyphen get install virtual box hyphen guest hyphen x11. So it requires 10 MB. So let's press Y and press enter. So after that we have to reboot the machine. Let's wait for it to get complete. So let's wait for the building module. So it is done, almost. So it is setting up the X server, processing the triggers, and after that we have to reboot the machine so that we can go for copy-paste. Okay, so let's go for reboot. So it is starting the DRM and frame buffer. It means the system is properly booting up. Okay. So now let's see some desktop and let me show you some copy paste of the text from the host machine Windows to the Nopix machine. So now you can see that the Nopix has booted. So now let's take some overview of what it is offering us. So let's click over here. Now you can see that lots and lots of options are there for accessories, education, games, graphics, internet, Nopix, office, library, and even lots and lots of things are also there. So more than 2600 packages, it is absolutely correct. Sounds and video, system tools, universal access, wine even, preferences, so lots and lots of things. So in this video, I have demonstrated how to install Nopix and how to install uh, VirtualBox settings on Nopix. So do like this video, do comment on this, and do let me know what more videos do you want me to make. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much and catch you all in the next video. Thank you all for watching.